here's a motor I've got um, for an upcoming job or an SV or electronic mixer. So we've got the, the driver and the motor on top. And we can lock it in. So now the motor will run whatever's below. If you lift the lid or the knob, then you can then twist it whichever way you want. But ideally you want it in the mid position. And then you have your valve and you can just see it on the actuator here you're missing a little nub in there and that's the mid position and the mid position is there then on the adapter that goes to the motor there's nothing all the way around and then you have the little indent here which lines up with the nubbing which is here so that's that so you have a, a return and a flow and then to the heating circuit So if you close off one end, pop that motor on. You now have full flow from the hot side all the way through to the heating circuit and then we have a blocked off return so theoretically we're running full heat and then the motor is fully over so then the heating's got a bit too toasty or should we say the outside temperature has raised. So now the motor moves over and brings in some of the return temperature. So now the return is going in and it's cooling down the flow. So the flow uh, still has priority or a larger bore and the return has a small bore and then it's going to the heating circuit at a mix and now it's getting really hot outside so the boiler's saying we don't need a lot of flow so we're just closing down the flow from the, the boiler. So small orifice. And now to keep the, the flow to the heating circuit quite cool, the return has got a large orifice. And then the mixer's moving over. So that's all it does. So you can set this valve to the middle. So that's the middle position. And then you can set this valve to the middle. So I'll turn it around to really confuse you. That's our mid position. But if I was to turn, turn this around, that could be the mid position. So you have a lot of orientations. So if you're popping it on, you can also turn the head round. 
in this orientation or this orientation. And then when you're testing it all, wire it in and you have the neutral and then clockwise and anti-clockwise. On the valve, it tells you neutral, and then brown and black. Depending on the uh, manufacturer, I haven't actually confirmed, but valent will be clockwise one way and and anti-clockwise the other. I can't remember with Wiesman, and I always bloody forget when I fit them. But anyway, put the neutral in and pop the, the brown and uh, black in and turn the uh, weather comp curve right up so you'll get a nice hot flow and this motor will move over chugga 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 will move over one way and then you can feel the flow to your heating circuit if it gets warm then you're right and you've wired it incorrectly but if it gets cold then you know the return is coming back and feeding the heating circuit so remove the brown and the black and swap them and then the motor will move to the way and then you will get a nice warm heating circuit lower the curve and then the motor will tick 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 back over the other way and give you a cool heating circuit if you really bolst up then you may need to remove the head and then turn it or if you really bolst up you might have accidentally had the motor set in the mid position but this not in the mid position and in the closed position and you can see now the motor's thinking I'm in a mid position but the actual valve is in a closed position so make sure you have the valve in a mid position nub it in the middle and the motor in mid position and then you can see you've got mid position there mid position there and then fully open hopefully that helps